here over here. So this one's like 70 meters and saying like solve for x. You know, who knows what exactly the problem is. But again, let's look at what information we have. We have what sides of the triangle? The, here's my angle. This is going to be your opposite. And then, Michael, this would be your hypotenuse, right? So therefore, the trigonometric function we're going to use is sine. So we're going to say sine of 45 degrees is equal to x over 70, right? Now, yes? You could, you could have. I'm just leaving it as a non-simplified answer over there. Rationalize y. You mean over here? Yeah. yeah, I'm saying you could have. I was just leaving it as non-simplified. And again, when I get into the tester quiz, like if I, just, if I don't say simplify, this is perfectly fine. If I say simplify, then I would expect it to be rationalized. OK? Um, in this example, guys, wouldn't you guys agree to solve for x? Um, to solve for x, all I can do, all I got to do is multiply by 70 on both sides. So I could say x equals 70 times the sine of 45 degrees. Yes? Now, this is why it's so important, guys. Remember the sine of 45 degrees? It was always the same. It didn't, like, I wrote all these triangles up there, but it's always going to be the same. But let's look at what is the sine, guys, when we have a hypotenuse of 1? What is the sine? What is the opposite over the hypotenuse of that red triangle right there? What is the opposite over the hypotenuse of any 45 degree angle right there? Square root of 2 over 2 over 1. So it's just square root of 2 over 2, which makes our life pretty easy. 35 square root of 2. No calculator is needed. You could remember your trigonometric function and say, oh, to go from this, these two are, if this is a 45, 45, then these two are the same. This, to get to here, I multiply by the square root of 2. Here, to get to here, I would divide by the square root of 2. And if you rationalize the denominator here, you would still get the same answer of 35 times the square root of 2. 70 over the square root of 2. Rationalize the denominator. 70 square root of 2 over 2. 35 square root of 2. Okay, But here's the thing, guys. Most students do not remember your special right triangles. And guess what? 